Hello everybody. Um, as you, it's Gail here from Ornamentology. As you know, um, some of you, I've been really struggling with my hands and dexterity recently. So I, being a creative person, I couldn't live in that void for very long. So what I've done is I've uh, turned my attention to making some uh, junk journals. So I thought I'd show you this one. This is number five off the press and I feel like I'm getting my eye in now. So this is um, entitled let's let us explore and um, basically I've got this piece of um, velvety ribbon which picks up the map situation and the cover is um, an old map it's one of those uh, fabric maps so it's quite durable and wonderful and I've used red stitching to emulate the A roads and the green to kind of hint a bit at that so basically the journal uh, flows like this so um, on the front of this, I attached a little money envelope, um, a page from a little hymn book, Bible, and a bit of map edge. I'm trying to get this on the camera quite well, so I'm not quite good at this. I haven't got my eye in with it yet. So that's your first little pocket. And then this is paper that I dyed myself. It's just ordinary paper, nothing very exciting about that. Um, just a few sheets for you to just dribble, dribble your in bits of information in. And then um, I did some jelly plate printing of leaves so I put in a sheet of that and you can write on all of this obviously and just some ordinary um, paper I did some embossment this is the underside of the embossment and this is the correct side which is quite lovely um, again more paper to jot, put your jottings in attached a little scrap of map here um, and then this is some uh, paper that I dyed and I also sprayed it. So this is, um, let me try and think, I think this is rose petal dye that had been sitting in the container for quite some time. And then I gave it a bit of a squitch with some paint. Another little snippet of map before I lost it, I stuck it on there. Uh, more tea dyeing. Um, and then I found a rather marvellous um, book of maps um, when I was having a rummage around a junk shop for next to the thing and uh, that was really quite fabulous so I've taken a page out of it um, this is just a little what's called a belly band so if you wanted to tuck something in there you could um, then um, this is more paper that I've dyed my, oh, this is an envelope that I dyed so it's a little pocket if you wanted to put something in and I've stamped it and then in this side, this is an envelope. Um, and in here, I've got um, a tag, which I've done a little bit of. These are the off cuts. So I've made them into little strips, put a bit of map at the bottom. A uh, little bit of map, which you can actually unfurl and write on if you wanted to. Obviously, you can write on these pages. This is just a little letter to say um, thank you ever so much for buying the journal and I hope you're going to do something marvellous with it and then this is a this um, this is a fold out of Lincoln Cathedral it's just a, a sort of a schematic map which I thought was quite lovely um, again another little bookmark let me put this down a little bookmark um, I put a little adornment hanging off the side um, little pieces of map little pockets to put things in when you're on your journey that goes in the other side of that envelope and then um, I learnt the Turkish map folding and this is actually a map of Lincoln, just a little one of the top end of Lincoln. And this is about Lincoln. And again, another little pocket to put things in that you might want to collect. Um, just some crazy paper to jot on. Again, we're kind of getting, we've gone past, I think, the middle, have we already? Sorry, I'm being a bit dim. Yes, we've gone past the middle and um, so we're now on the other sides so uh, this is some hand dyed paper so it comes out really randomly um, and some more I did quite a lot of it you get through quite a bit of it actually when you're making these but they're just little sheets that you can put little jots on and then this just pulls out so it's like a fold and you can write on the back I found this um, labyrinth picture which I thought was quite lovely um, Monks used to use labyrinths for their meditation. They would walk around saying their, their religious chants and the like. 
um, and then uh, this is just a fold out piece of paper which is just a little bit of mono printing that I did on wet day when my brain was needing to do something creative again more paper this is a uh, bin uh, dyed with rose petals again that have been sat for a while and then a threefold thing here for when you want to write a big long list of things to do and um, this is the back of the map that it goes with. The maps aren't of anywhere in particular, apart from the one that I chose. I'm just going to tie this back up. Um, I've put the tie through one of the uh, bindings, and it's a three-hole brochure bind that's holding it all together. Um, and this is the... I'll just put a bow in this just to hold it. I'm a bit at the end of my day today, so it's all a bit... There we are. So that's it basically so it's got all these little knickknacks and nunas on um that you can take out and use to chronicle your adventures if you want to um and this is something i'm going to be toying with the idea of for the other side of ornamentology anyway i hope you like it and uh, this is what i've been doing um instead of hat making so if you're waiting for a hat i'm very sorry but um, I'm just not up to it at this time, but I can manage to do a bit of sticking and gluing. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. Bye now.